All right, it's June 9th, 721. It is 83 degrees. I just got done at the pool and we got some new shoes. So, I got these on sale too because I wanted a pair. Um, these are Hoka's, as you can tell. They are Bondi 8s and you can already see the colorway. It's size 13, normal, D width, medium width. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, pull sneeze. All right, let's get these out. Oh. So this ain't gonna be like hot product review. I think I've given up on like doing extensive product review on shoes. More like color reveal and showing you certain models is like seems to be a little bit better, more smooth for me. <clears throat> Cause I, I'm not editing the videos. I'm doing like a one cut. So like that, but. These are nice. I didn't think I'd like the white and black, but once I get it out of the box, these are kind of dope. Let's get this other thing out of here. Um, I know a little bit about the Bondi though. Look at those beautiful things. All right, so we got some stats right there. For all those product reviewers, you know what those stats mean. Um, let's look at the toe. Toe's nice. Let's look at the heel and it's got a little pull-up loop that's nice and it's got a um achilles cup now it doesn't have a full like the clifton where it's like a slanted area this is more like a traditional shoe and it kind of looks like a dad shoe a little bit but man it feels nice um the the mesh here is very is very nice too let's stick the hand down in there and see yeah, that feels nice. It's not super stretchy. It's a little, it's a little, um, um, it's not a prime knit. It's more of a, more of just a weave. Um, but your foot shouldn't spread, uh, it shouldn't feel too confined, I mean to say. Um, let's look at the tread. Look at that. That's nice. Nice torsion system down the middle. And, you know, you've got your strike points for like that so the bondi isn't their max cushion shoe but it's their most um durable uh all-purpose walking uh running shoe um the clip it's it's not as light as the clifton or like the mock um or the arahi um it's more of a everyday kind of shoe general purpose there's the inside uh they're they're do they come out yeah they do i didn't think they came out let's pull one out Take a look at that. So this is the insert. So pretty basic, kind of like um, Nikes. They don't spend a lot of money on the insert. So you either take it out and put your own in there or stuff another one in there. Um, Cause this is not a, um, it's not a shoe for stability. It's a, it's a neutral shoe. Um, but the, the nice thing about uh, these, even though it's not a stability shoe, the arch is there, you know, it's, it, it'll help you out. So laces are, are flat laces, you know, so pretty nice. And the tongue, I don't think the tongue is the tongue gusset is. No, it's not. You can see that it's, it moves around in there. So, um, it's like, like I said, it's a general all purpose shoe. It's not, it's, it's a good for running, walking, doing what you need to do. It comes in a lot brighter colors. I really did kind of want a brighter color, but this one was on sale. I got it at um, a Dick's Sporting Goods. It was, I got it for under 100 actually. Uh, they didn't endorse me. And again, no one endorses the channel. So it's just me buying shoes and talking about them and their colors and whatnot. So, but yeah, I mean, this is pretty nice. This is, let's get a straight on look. There you go. Um, you know when you when you look down on it, it's gonna it's gonna look like that at your on your foot. So that's gonna be nice. You know the heel. So it's it's a little bit of a blocky, clumpy shoe, but it's still gonna be a great all-purpose shoe. And you know how Hoka's and Oncloud are right now, super popular. So it's a win in all categories, in my opinion. You might just want to get a different color, like you might be an all black or a bright color. I was gonna get the bright color if I like this one a lot. I'll wear it for a few months, then sell it, and then get the bright get get the brighter color. Um, it's uh, when I tried it on at home, um, it did fit okay to size. 
it was my toe was here um it's not like brooks uh brooks i have no clue what size to buy in brooks i'm planning on buying this one brooks coming out i, I mean i i think i i think I need like a 13 and a half in a Brooks because 13 is tight, 14 is big. And I, I've never seen a 13 and a half in a Brooks. So it's, I, I, there's a glycerin I really want. But anyway, so we'll give this shoe a ride. I don't want to keep you guys um, stalling around on the video. Here's the tongue. If you need to see the tongue. Hey, come on. There we go. Let's zoom in on for you. That's what the tongue looks like for sizing. So definitely, definitely an all-purpose shoe. And, you know, it's not a max, like I said, it's not a max cushion. Their max cushion is the Gravitoa, I think is what the, is. but the Bondi 8 is just a perfect all-around good shoe. So, all right, guys, you have a good day. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more shoes. Like I said, I got a lot of them. So we'll go from there. All right, bye.